Are you trying to install Windows, perhaps Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, and you're running into problems with the hard drive? This video will show you how to initialize the hard drive from the Windows setup. This is Paul, one of the techs at Micro Center. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, from the Windows setup screen, you want to hit Shift F10 to get a command prompt. You want to type in disk part, hit enter. Then type in list disks to show the hard drives. Uh, now you want to select the hard drive you want to initialize. So we're going to type select disk zero. Okay, now we're on disk zero. Now we want to type clean to remove any partition or volume formatting. Now we want to go ahead and create the partition on the disk. Type in create partition primary. Now type select partition 1 to show to select the partition that we're going to be working in. Now we want to go ahead and make that the active partition. So type active. Now we want to format it. In this case we want to use uh, it's format fs equals ntfs quick so that it doesn't take like an hour to do. Click enter. It's done already. Go ahead and exit. And now you can continue with the installation as you normally would. So go ahead and click on next. Click on install. Go ahead and accept the agreement and there's the hard drive that we just set up. So at this point you just proceed with the normal install. If you have any other questions come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.